hello guys welcome to my class today we are going to learn how to analyze and design of an isolated footing of a building okay so first open stack pro and we are going to select a ready structure select i'm going to select the structure in the structure and give all the loads dead load live load seismic load okay you can see all the loads are given so you have to analyze it at first go to comment analyze perform analyze okay analyze analyze save I take a ready building because the time will be less for the design. You see, there is one warning. This warning for the analyze it twice. Okay, I I draw the structure and save it. Then. I'm going to analyze it repeatedly. That's why for the one, you have not to worry. Click on done, and now go to. Have to go to the foundation. Have to design and analyze the isolated footing of this building. So go to foundation design. So click foundation design, and you see all the loads are given. Now this is the available load. And he selected load, and we are going to select it all the load. So include all. See, included all, and click on run stat foundation. Now here is our columns. You see, this is the moment. This is the axial force. This is the biaxial force. Sorry, this is uniaxial. Uniaxial force. This is the moment acting on the x plane. This moment. Okay. So first, go to loads and factor. Now click on the plus sign. Okay. Then go to generate load combination. Select the table. It will be Indian. Okay. Now we have to combine combination the loads. For that, go to generate load combination. Click on generate load combination. and see load combination generation completed okay it is for the service load combination and we have to also combination the loads for the ultimate load combination and again click on generate load combination then click on okay now we have generated the combination okay then close it now go to job setup create a job you see this is the dialog box give job name is isolated sorry isolated footing so give isolated the name Job type will be isolated. Design code will be British. What is your design code? You select your design code. I am going to select Indian. And the unit type is SI for the Indian. And support assessment is select the all support. Okay. We are not listed any supports. And now. 
the available load case we take only the combination loads okay so select the combination select just left click from your mouse and select it now we have selected all the combination load now click on that and all our combination or combination are selected okay now we have to create a job so click create job okay then go to here is the navigation in the main bar the isolated footing job is added so we have to click on the plus button again and we have to design the parameters plus button click on the plus button and now concrete and river now give your value even rated weight of concrete is 25 minimum bar spacing you can change the value okay strength of concrete 25 i'm going to change it to 20 real strength 415 okay minimum bar size 8 or you can give 10 okay maximum 25 minimize it to 8 okay so it is default no you see this is the unit then go to cover soil I'm going to increase it for your better view and this is the drain condition and undrain condition we select the drain condition okay now bottom cover change you can change your bottom cover by undrain condition okay slide in condition this will be the same okay you can change the soil bearing capacity to your location for your location what is your bearing capacity then change it now footing geometry it is you will be uniform thickness what is your type you select your type for my type it is uniform thickness and design type will be you can set the dimension okay you can change the dimension you can fix the width that is you don't want to change the width it will be fixed you fix the length you don't want to change the length or you can calculate dimension all can be changed see all can be changed double click on it and you can change it see minimum thickness maximum length okay let it be it will be the same okay but you can go to the fixed length i'm going to fix the length i don't want to change the length okay then go to the last part design click on design do you want to analyze or design yes this analyze is complete close the part and you see i started footing design according to IS 456-2000 this is the calculation this is the drawing of footing 1 this is the calculation for footing 1 and you can see all the calculation are here I'm going to click on design for isolated footing 1 click on that and you see this is the drawing this is the column this is clear cover this is a footing this is soil depth this is the calculation you can go to the geometry and go to the detailed schedule drawing for isolated footing 1 norm 1 say norm 2 norm 4 norm 34 okay going to give select one and 
and you can see we are using 8 millimeter bar at the 115 millimeter spacing okay this is 1 meter width 50 millimeter clear cover G, this footing height is 0 0.45 meter this is a column this is total the elevation ok and the line is here 60 millimeter diameter at the right of 50 millimeter spacing this is the bottom reinforcement width is 1 meter length is 5.50 meter this is our column 500 millimeter by 500 millimeter and it's actually on the axial this is the axial column actually and the bottom, bottom reinforcement is same 8 millimeter 90 millimeter spacing this is the difference to this see and this is the drawing title project name you can give the data okay and you can see the calculation sheet the graphs there is no graphs for footing okay you can out export the or you can save the drawing to AutoCAD or go to save drawing as AutoCAD or you can save it as JPG GIF okay DX save file select AutoCAD and you can save it save it will, it will be open in the AutoCAD then go to the schedule drawing for the schedule of the bar see reinforcement all the reinforcement is here this is how you can analyze and design a isolated footing of a building so keep practicing it and keep subscribing on my channel and thank you for watching my video